Welcome to the first video in my Brazil series. I am so excited to say that it is my first time in Brazil and my first time in South America. I am so pumped to show off this beautiful country and a bunch of different Airbnbs to you all over these next few weeks. But today we're about two hours outside of Sao Paulo at Casa Vista. This spot actually has a bunch of different private art installations throughout the property. There's also a sauna and even an infinity pool. I think that's the first for the channel. There's also some minimalist design in the interior and it's called Casa Vista for a reason, which roughly translates to house with a view because there are some breathtaking views of the mountains right behind me as I'm speaking to you. But ladies and gentlemen, Let's now go and start the full tour. Welcome to Brazil and to Casa Vista. We are going to start on the front exterior and the home is split into three sections. You have a bedroom on either side and then the kitchen and living room are in the middle. The bedroom on the right has the hammock outside, whereas the bedroom on the left is more oriented to face the mountain views. Now we'll look out from the front of the home and you can see your large deck and zoomed out with the drone, you'll see your infinity pool in the bottom left. But more on that later, because I definitely want to mention this home is actually fully self-sufficient. You get all of the drinking water from a nearby local spring and the home runs off of these solar panels that are on top of the hill. Next, for one of my favorite features, it is of course the infinity pool. You have some plants surrounding it and just look at these views. You can see the mountains there off in the distance and all of the farmland. And if we go around the corner, you actually have an outdoor shower. Everything looks and feels super tropical. After that, we'll look down from the hill and we can walk quickly to the sauna. You have a simple chair and a small table outside, and I love the big leafy plant there on the left. It adds to the tropical feeling. Then here are some of the art installations. There are three main ones that I could see. Most of them are sculpture based like this. And if we go to the far end of the property, there's a small pond. I love the reflection of the clouds. And there's even a volleyball court. It looked like it could use a little maintenance, but still fun to play a game. This is Beethoven, the neighbor's dog. He's super friendly and I enjoyed spending time with him. So be on the lookout for Beethoven. And finally, before we go inside, I'll just focus a little more on these breathtaking views. Again, all this you can see straight from your deck. I thought the terrain was super interesting. You have the mountains in the background and all of this farmland and these rolling hills if you look in the opposite direction. If we also gaze in the top right now, it's pretty mountainous and hilly. And I think that there is a neighboring farm right next door because there were a lot of cattle and other animals wandering around. But that's it for everything outside. Let's go see the interior. On the left, you'll see your dining area and kitchen and the right side has your living room. But we'll start in this half. I love the modern looking dining table and then into the kitchen we go with your stovetop and plenty of countertop space. Against this far wall, there's then your sink and you can find a bunch of knives and other key kitchen pieces hanging up. There's also a shelf then to the right, which has a few more kitchen utensils. Next, if we look into this bag, the host left behind a pretty fancy movie screen projector. So you can watch Netflix or a movie and put it up on any of the walls inside. 
Now back in the center, you have some nice pieces of art behind the dining table, and you do have Starlink Wi-Fi here. So even though we're in a very rural area, you still have very fast internet, which is great for remote workers like me. Finally, in this far corner, you have your uniquely shaped couch. So I was just hanging out here and flipping through the guest book as soon as I checked in. Let's go into one of the bedrooms now. So we'll start in the room on the right. And I have dubbed this bedroom the hammock bedroom for obvious reasons. Both of the rooms are pretty minimalist in their design. You have a simple double bed there right in the middle and some hanging lighting fixtures. And I love the fact that both bedrooms have their own private bathrooms. So if you see there on the left hand side, there is your shower. And one of the best parts is the fact that you have a skylight right above the shower, which allows for some great natural light to stream in. And we are pretty high up in the mountain, so it did get pretty chilly at night. So there is a closet with some extra blankets if you need them. Still in the same bedroom, you can slide back this door and relax in your hammock, which has some nice views looking out to the hills in front of the home. And then next to the shower is your actual bathroom. I especially love the sink. It has some unique design with these multiple layers. Let's now go to the opposite side of the home and open up this door to see the second bedroom. To be honest, it's pretty much exactly the same as the other bedroom. You're just looking out towards the mountains in this one instead of having the hammock. So I chose to sleep in this room for easy access to the mountain views. You have the same shower and skylight and you can slide back this door and walk straight out first thing in the morning, which is exactly what I did. You also have your fire pit out here, which is a nice add-on and then the same bathroom setup which is right next to the shower guys a couple of days ago we hit 100,000 youtube subscribers from the bottom of my heart thank you all so much for your support over the years i started this youtube channel about three years ago and i had literally no idea what i was doing i had zero videography experience i had very little knowledge of youtube i actually flew to scandinavia to shoot my first few videos because i I thought this was going to be a unique hotel channel that obviously shifted to Airbnb tours during the pandemic and the rest is history. It has been one long crazy adventure with you all and I can't wait for many more adventures to come. Speaking of which, I have some very big plans for 2024. I'm beginning the process to launch my own Airbnb empire. More on that soon when it gets closer, but again, want to thank you all so much. I seriously read all of your messages and your comments that you leave on all of my videos. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you all very soon for another Airbnb tour.